one thing I like, I, I love to start people with, they're like, I'm not ready to do all, like, I'm just curious about this, this whole uh, method, let's call it. It's really liberating for people when, and you're, I mean, this is huge for you in your work that I like to tell people that no is the most magnetic word that you have. Like, and, and so it's so funny with like old manifestation, it's always like, think positive, be in the vortex, be in the love frequency, don't have negative thoughts. And it's like, in fact, all that's going to do is keep you complacent, like right where you are. You're not going to get out of that. You may have little things that come through and happen, but but nothing big is going to shift and you won't see results in manifestation. However, when you start to set boundaries and you start to say no, you want to talk about magnetism. <laughs> it's like the universe is like, oh, wait, oh, wait a second you're no longer going to settle for all of the shit that you used to settle for in the past. And, and now you're going to say my authentic self and worth is the most meaningful thing in my life. Oh, cool. Let me start to connect you with some stuff that you want. Because if the universe's <laughs> own intention <laughs> is to get you back into your whole worthy, authentic self, it's, it's, it, all it wants you to do is pull off the onion layers. All it wants you to do is like really, really like reassess the pain, shame and programming you went to, to get, that's what, that's what the veil is. That's what it needs to get off you to really actually align with, oh, this is who I am. This is my purpose. This is what I'm here to do, be and have on the human, you know, plane and the human experience. And so like, that's one thing I always like to have people do. I'm like, just take a week of saying no to all of the shit that you do that you don't want to do. And obviously bigger stuff like quitting the job, et cetera, et cetera, Uh, that takes time. And, and there's definitely, like a process to that but like let's take the little stuff that that your codependency your people pleasing is just going to do today that it continues to do and just take a week to say no and then after you're done with that come on over and like there's a, a few like free things you can do that will blow your mind in this work that you're going to be like uh huh. Okay. Like I'm, re- I'm ready to dig into this inner child the shadow and really get what I want like what those things are Number one, like we have this free clarity exercise. And so it gives you a taste of like our hypnosis process. And it also just, it'll, it'll be this moment of where you're like, wow, I've never seen this version of myself before. I had no idea that this is what I wanted. Okay. Yeah. I want to know more about that. So like do the no for a week, go in and try that exercise. And then after that, one of the second steps of manifestation, there's a few steps. It's like getting clear on what you want, making the list beyond that. You're going to start to look at like inner child shadow, et cetera. You're going to learn about that. There's a concept of tests. Like I talked about before, there's also pings, like the intuitive downloads you get, how to follow those, how to navigate those. There's a piece called the magic dark. So you learn about that. Right. But anyways, like, let's say you're not ready to engage with any of that. Like, come on over, do the no for a week, come on over and try the clarity exercise and then start to look at expanders because we all know that's a second step that you have to do it in order to expand whatever, you know, you want to call in to see, to believe that it's possible and go to the testimony section that, you know, we can link here and start to look at and read like the thing you're calling in the most, like how did other people do it? And that it's possible, like see to believe, oh, I relate to this person. If they did it, I can do it too. And I call that the aha moment. So that's a really big piece. And then of course, like we have a podcast where literally our entire podcast is dedicated to educating this version of manifestation. So the cool thing about it is we always have one episode a month. It's called Explained, and it's where we'll break down the concept of tests, the concept of pink. It's a whole episode dedicated towards that. Another episode we have a month is called The Process. So it's where we actually bring on a real member who does the work, who manifested something big. We have a ton of them, like past archives that one can listen to, and they literally walk through the entire process of how they did it. So it's another version of finding an expander. But the starting point is like, just play with no. Just start playing with that word and see what starts to come up in your life and the magic that starts to happen from it. Yeah, I heard a quote recently that said, um, every no creates space for your sacred yes. Oh, love it. And, right? Rachel Maddox is the person who said it, not the woman from CNN. What I love about that is just the power of boundary, like the power of creating space for self to become. And if, as you said, uh, if we're codependent, if we're a people pleaser, which those two things really are so (laughs) intertwined, we don't even know. We've put so much energy into other people and then use that to source our self-worth. 
that we are not even realizing that through sourcing, through other for worth and validation, we could take all that energy and put it into creating a self and some worth so that we don't need other people's validation. Like we become the validation we're seeking. And that is such a powerful shift when we go from trying to, you know, figure out, as you said, our two motivators are money and relationship. And I've certainly seen that. There's very few people that don't deeply desire great connections and likely great wealth, you know? So if if we can use the desire for love and sharing love with other people, our children, because children, I mean, even if it's not a romantic partner that will motivate you, your relationship with your child can motivate you to become the best parent, to become the best example, to heal our bullshit so that we're not handing down a, a U-Haul truck filled with baggage, you know, that someone handed to us. But like at some point, the work has to be done. And I love that you correlate that the work actually not just will benefit in terms of you feeling healed, witnessed, seen, but you can actually use that work to create, which is a different way of seeing it. Like if I said to someone, hey, do your inner child work, and they're like, ugh, gross. But if it's like, hey, actually, if you do this work, you'll be able to create love and abundance. Yeah, truly. And it's like such a funny thing because, um, you know, I think of myself who is a codependent, like recovering and people pleaser. So Welcome many of us are. Everyone sort of falls on the spectrum, you know, or they can be on Me the other too, spectrum yeah. with narcissism, right? And so, um, which is all, all of them are just based in trauma. That's it. But the thing that is interesting, like I love what you said is, uh, you know, if you identify as a codependent or a people pleaser and like, just saying no to create boundaries, to create self, that can sound really scary. Like that sounds really like, holy shit. It sounds exciting because it's like, oh, how liberating that would be, but very scary to take the first steps. But the coolest piece like we're talking about is that in combination with just knowing a few parts of like strategy, like of how to manifest will get you what you want. Like nothing should sound more exciting than that. So not only, and so like when we talk about the category of, let's say, love, like someone who's calling in a child, partnership, also repaired relationships with caretakers, parents, like actual integration where there's no longer, um, there's that healed part where there's no longer animosity or anger or you, you process that. So like that's like, let's say that love, there's a lot in that category. But when we say money, wealth, Everybody, everybody's version of that is different. But not only that, when we're talking about like energetics of manifestation, everything that sits in that is home. It's also um, like salary. It's also career, dreams, entrepreneurship, uh, all of that sits in that. So like how cool it is it that when you start working on one, you're automatically working on the other and they start to meet each other and you start to grow in both and manifest both. Like, so for the person that's out there identifying like the word no and boundaries, how do I even do them? Which you teach wonderfully on. That sounds really scary. Well, the cool thing is that in combination with just knowing how to dance with the universe a little bit, is going to get you everything <laughs> you want. Like that's so awesome and motivating. And I mean, you can attest to this in your life in your own way. And I certainly can like through healing and integrating and doing that work, I have manifested everything I want. Like everything I want. Um, and the coolest thing is now it's like, you're saying I'm I literally like generational trauma stops here. Like I'm, I'm doing that for mm. my child, but also like for everybody in the past, like, and that's cool. And I love digging into that work and doing that, but like, what a gift that's, and that I really believe that's the thing that changes the world. Like whatever your political view is or your thing or your that or this or whatever, like that's the thing that changes everything. Consciousness, it changes consciousness. 